the President and Mrs. Kennedy a warm welcome. November 22, 1963. America's 35th President, John F. Kennedy, and his wife, Jackie, receive a warm reception in Dallas. A festive scene that would soon take a sudden dark turn. The President's car is now turning onto Elm Street, and it will be only a matter of minutes before he arrives at the trademark. Bob Huffaker, former reporter at KRLD Radio in Dallas. It looked as though the entire city had turned out. And it was really great. Dallas had showed that it really loved that president. Yes, Ullman, then with WFAA Radio, joined the cheering crowds at Dealey Plaza. I didn't even notice John and Nellie Conley in the jump seat. I was just absolutely captivated by Jackie, who was nearest. She was on the left side to me, and the president on the other side. And I thought, that's what a first couple ought to look like. Even the freeway was jam-packed with spectators waiting their chance to see the president. And I was carried away and hollered out something like, uh, Welcome to Dallas, Mr. President. And then they turned the corner and boom, that, that, first, that first shot. That's a, it's a sound you don't forget. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. 13-year-old Tina Pender was filming the motorcade with her father's movie camera. As the first gunshot sounded, I looked up at the buildings thinking somebody was throwing firecrackers out the window, but only a split second. I only had a split second before some stranger, and I still don't know who it was, pulled me down to the ground. There has been a shooting. Parkland Hospital has been advised to stand by for a severe gunshot wound. Report here at Parkland. Kennedy was hit in the neck and the head and was rushed to Parkland Hospital. Dr. Ronald Jones was one of the surgeons that operated on the wounded president. The president was on a stretcher. His arms were out on arm boards, but the president was motionless. I never saw any movement. His eyes were open and in a fixed stare. President Kennedy has been assassinated. It's official now. The president is dead. The city had gone silent. There was kind of a stillness. And that lasted through Sunday. The community was going through a soul-searching process, maybe unlike any American community in this century. Journalist Hugh Ainsworth says the assassination transformed the city. At the time, we had nobody of color, no black, no brown, no nobody else in governmental, any making any major decisions. That's that changed like that because we got so much heat, we got so much uh, derision, we got so much uh, attack. But for some eyewitnesses, time has stood still. It doesn't seem like 50 years at all. When when you come down here, it's forever 1963. 50 years later, Dallas prepares to relive that fateful day in Dealey Plaza with a memorial service, an unusual step for a city that has sought to shun publicity for that dark day.